intros are for losers. Yes. Ugh. We're gonna go through this hole. They said I couldn't break my hand, and I ended up breaking my hand anyway. Oh, you have to be swift when you activate the first one. You hear that? If it stops, you'll have to. Oh, okay. I see. Start over. Isn't all this a bit excessive? You can never be too careful, Daniel. Eh. Oh, there we go. Another region, or deep within the east of the Prussian woods. Really. Another region, rich with lore is Altstad, deep within the East Prussian woods. For centuries, there have been stories surrounding the hamlet and its neighbor, Castle Brennenberg. The quiet forest clad mountains, dressed with scattered lakes, is as picturesque as can be. Albeit, the area is haunted by the dark. Ask any local and you will hear proof of the widespread superstition. All travelers should indulge themselves in such conversations since it will certainly serve as exciting entertainment. All of them have their own twists and tales, but there are some motifs that keep reappearing. The story reaches all the way back to the time of the Thirty Year War. It is said that soldiers who abandon their duty get lost in the cold dark woods and were forever damned to roam the grounds. Their bodies wrought by their tainted souls have left them disfigured and empty of essence. Many have sighted them over the years and described them as horrid revenants. But they move silently through the woods, shying away from any beholder. They are called the gatherers as they seem to follow the ambition to steal living creatures. It is their prey which can be heard struggling inside the damp burlap sacks dragged behind them, which reveal their presence. What dark scheme do they follow? Henrich Cornelius Agrippa, known as the, I don't, I'm not even gonna try that word, visited Alstad at their start of the 16th century. He resigned in the local inn for a fortnight as he looked for remnants of kingdom's past. During his stay, all the prominent members of society paid notice, and he is mentioned in many records of time. One day, he went to investigate the borough in the north er, northwestern gates, only to never be seen again. Henrich is known to have passed away in the Grenoble some 10 years later. He dismissed the notion of ever visiting Alstad, which makes you wonder what really happened. Who was this mysterious man? Who visited them in the sleepy hamlet in the woods? What happened to him? Oh my goodness. The Baron of Brandenburg lives in a reclusive life with his family in his castle nearby Alstad. And like most of the noble birth, rumors are inherited along with the title. Researching the hero. Uh, bleh, 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 bleh. Researching the History reveals a little before the castle was consumed by fire in the late 16th century. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, complaining the lack of complaining. It was rebuilt by Alexander, a nobleman from the Rhinelands, claiming the role as protector of the Prussian strait. Alexander helped. You know what? Fuck it. I want that book. So this is telling me about like some monsters and shit. I wonder if I'm gonna see these monsters. I think they're the monsters because ooh, ooh. I won't open. It's locked. Why are there so many fucking things that need keys? I don't want to go and like spend the whole game looking for keys. How's my Sanity looking. Okay, not bad. Okay. So I'm in a local history room. Is this the local history?
these books get to go. Wait. Wilhelm and his fools and his fools have endangered my research long enough. With their absent-minded handling of the human vessels, the sheriff is keeping a watchful eye on the forest and is killing my trusty servants. But it's just a matter of time until they follow the trail to Brandenburg. I need to lock Wilhelm and his men up to avoid further investigations from the public. The wine cellar, therefore, can be ooh, 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 the wine cellar. Wine cellar! Okay. Demons? Whoa. I'm scared. Alright, so the wine cellar. Where the hell is the wine cellar? Oh, wait, that... That was my way out. Unless... Can I use... The key? Can I have a window on its own? penis. all good. I got smacked in the face by something. Oh god, it's hitting me again. What is going on? Okay, hello? Uh, I am a 
furred and scared and in this one wine cellar okay okay Good head pounding. Fuel for lantern. Chemistry pot. Okay. Beware when sitting in darkness and it will slowly drain. Turn on the lights. Okay. Oh. Demons. Where did the Baron go? Who cares? He left nothing up wine the last of the life. Or at least until tomorrow! <laughs> Where is the demons? I can't see. Eh. Alright, give me a second. Let's think about this logically. My sanity is gone. Oh god. What's happening? Oh, it feels like. My chest is going to burst! Oh okay. shit. My god! Wilhelm, do something! Except you. We're not getting out of here, Why? How can you say that? Alexander, you piece of shit! Let us out of here! <laughs> I need to hide in here later. My name is Wilhelm, House of Regretch. Gurch? Gurich? These are my final words. My confession and testament. Two years ago, I was summoned by Cancel Brendenburg. As some of the. are as. as that. blah 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 blah. As most of the. aristocracy, I was curious about what was supposed to be Night of the Order. Uh, could want from me from the, could want from me and accept the invitation the Baron was friendly and offered me a proposition it dawned on me that the nature of the contract was scored okay you know what so I hit the wrong button it dawned on me that it was scored and the reason I was chosen was because of the follies of my past and not the honors I've been rewarded with during my time as a soldier. I was to kidnap healthy humans upon the slightest of whim and do so without asking questions. In return, he would attest to my character at the royal court, advancing my position within the noble society. I would like to claim that I struggled with my uh, decision, but it came swiftly and I accepted it wholeheartedly. Ever since that day, I brought men, women, and children to Brennenburg. I can't remember the numbers, but there were many, perhaps even a hundred. None of them. <coughs> Excuse me. None of whom were ever seen or heard from again. Tonight, the Baron invited me and my men down to the wine cellar to celebrate our work. I had my suspicions as we descended down the stairs, but he insisted and joined us in a toast. The wine tasted fine, and my men drank without restraint. So begins the punishment for our sins. The Baron has locked us up and returned upstairs. Forgive me for what I have done. I was weak and fell into his diabolical ways. My men are screaming. Their skin has been pierced by their own tangled bones. I feel my insides revolt against their God-given nature. My blood has begun to pour in my eyes. I can no longer. Well, finish it. So how's my sanity done? My sanity done. All right, so it's going back up. I'll just chill here for a minute, you know? I miss my friend. Bottoms up. Are these insides? Oh, is my sanity having? Is that, is that lungs or brains? What the hell? Touch. Maybe I shouldn't be touching the human remains. Closer. 
somehow. And that's going to be it for this one.